you are in charge of the overall offense, but I know you're working closely with Coach Kelly, Coach Sanford, really the entire offensive staff. How is that collaborative approach on offense working? Yeah, it's really been even better than I think we envisioned it being. Um, it's really been a smooth transition. Um, having Mike come in and, and then obviously with the with Harry being here already and, and having his influence and, and Coach Kelly overseeing the whole thing, really, I think the, the transition that we wondered at times, okay, how is this going to work? You know, uh, are, are there too many voices? Are there not enough voices? How is it going to fit together? How's every? It's really been really simple. Uh, it's really the structure of it's been great where everybody feels like they're free to exchange information and ideas. And, and also the, you know, the experience that everybody has brought to the room and, and the things that, little subtle changes here and there, no major changes really to a lot of things, but I think the subtle changes that we've made have, has improved our offense overall. Let's move to the position group that you also coach, the wide receivers. A lot of depth and talent in that group. Yeah, you know, it's, it's been a good spring. I think they've worked very hard. Uh, I think we're improving. Uh, our consistency level uh, for me, you know, is not where it needs to be. Uh, we've got to be a lot better uh, in some critical situations. And it seems like when uh, we're playing in, in, in some situations where the game's a little tight or uh, we need a big play out of somebody, I want the receivers to assume that role. I want them to step it to the forefront and be the guys that we count on the most. And, and to get that, we've got to get consistency in everything that we're doing so the quarterback's looking in our direction. Now, you know, everybody who's watching this at home is watching the quarterbacks this spring. So in your mind, how are your top two quarterbacks performing? Yeah, boy, wow. Uh, that's going to be a difficult decision to make. I really, they, they've both, I think, overperformed even our own expectations. I think there's really positive competition going on there. And, and I think they've taken the competition to heart themselves. So. Uh, they're not necessarily trying to outdo each other without the framework of the offense around them, but they know that it's a healthy competition. Their level of play individually have, has risen to the occasion, and it's made us better overall. Now, you don't have a great deal of running back depth right now, but boy, you've got some explosive talent there and a very interesting addition this spring in C.J. Precise. Yeah, I mean, C.J., I'll tell you what, he, he has become, I think, as much of a dynamic just playmaking football players we've got on the offensive side of the ball so running him in the backfield has been really a natural progression for him you you maybe wouldn't consider it being something that he would just ease himself into but he's really looked natural doing it uh, made some big plays made some big runs uh, done some really good things so uh, he's got an opportunity to really be a, an important part of what we do one of the many things you've done here at Notre Dame in your years here is coach the tight ends and help this school become the current tight end you in college football. How is this year's group looking at that position? Yeah, I think better and better. And I think, you know, you saw uh, even in practice today, um, you know, we had a few more routes installed that kind of highlighted the tight end position because they've earned that. They, they've, they've made plays when they've had the opportunity to do it. Uh, Tyler Luatua continues to, to grow as a blocker. Chase Hounshell's done some really nice things since his transition uh, from defense. And I think the clear leader right now is Durham Smythe as an overall player. Uh, really like his toughness. He's come a long way. And uh, I look for great things out of that position. We may have left the most important position group to last, but you can't be successful without a solid offensive line. Four veterans certainly have solidified their positions, but give me your overview of that group. Yeah, just the, I think the first thing that strikes you is the quality depth uh, that we have across the line. And there's some great competition going on there at a number of spots uh, that probably, like the quarterback situation, isn't going to get decided right away. I mean, it's going to be something that's going to have to play its way out. They're playing that well. Um, so, you know, ideally this whole thing revolves around that unbelievable group of, of strong men up front and uh, we can structure this thing and build on some of the great things we did against LSU. Two spring practices left including the Blue Gold game at this point. Are you happy where you're at? Have you accomplished so far what you wanted to heading in? Um, I think we're close. I mean I think we need the, the two days. I mm -hmm. wish we had maybe 20 more days yeah. but uh, you know I, I think there's a mentality in beginning to shape itself with our offense that uh, is going to be fun to be around. I mean they really expect great things. Um, they expect themselves to to do things the right way to, to make our offense really generate explosiveness and uh, if that happens and that continues to grow the way I think it can over the summer months then uh, we've got a chance to be pretty good. Mike, thank you for the time. Always great. a pleasure. Thanks to see you. Yep, great.